Korean style fried chicken wings without necessarily having to deep fry the whole thing. So what we want to start to do is just really marinate that chicken with a bit of soy sauce and some garlic and some onions. So I'm gonna chop off one garlic and then one red onion. That goes into my mixing bowl here. I'm gonna add the star of the dish, which are our chicken wings. And just make sure everything is properly tossed in together. Now for a quick seasoning, some soy sauce, a little bit of chili powder just for some heat. And I'm adding a little bit of cumin just to give it that extra interesting spice to it. Toss everything. I'm just gonna let things sit in the fridge for about two hours or overnight until it's well incorporated. So I'm just gonna turn on my air fryer. I'm gonna set it to 270 degrees for about 15 minutes. What happens in here is that instead of deep frying your chicken in oil to get that skin nice and crispy, what we're doing here, that hot air is just circulating and that's how you get that same consistency that if you would use a deep fryer, for example. Once that's ready, I'm just gonna drain the chicken and I'm gonna use this marinade for the stock of our sauce. So I'm just gonna take my drain here. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of flour here. It's just really, really gonna help the sauce just really stick to the chicken. So the beat you heard a while ago basically means my air fryer is ready. So what I'm gonna do is just dump all the chicken in there and forget about it for about 15 minutes. So in it goes, as you can see, there's a little grill and catch at the bottom of it. And then we put it right back in. Um, I have the soy sauce already in my pot right here. So we're gonna start with just two cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna really finely chop that. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of ginger, not too much. When you put ginger in food, it's always very important to really finely chop it. Just one small chili right here. I want it to be intense, so I'm gonna use some of the seeds. And then we're gonna fry this all in the stove with a little bit of mirin, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're just gonna really toss that together with some cornstarch to get it nice and thick, and then toss our chicken right in there. So I'm gonna get my pot going right here on low heat. Put a bit of olive oil, ginger, garlic, and chilies. I'm gonna add a tad bit of cornstarch. It's really just to get that sauce nice and thick. So when we put it with that chicken, it's just beautifully coated. And you'll see that's already like sticking through like that, which is absolutely gorgeous. That's when the flavor happens. I'm gonna use just some mirin that you can find in any supermarket. Once that mirin's cooked down, you can always see it evaporate before your eyes. I'm gonna take about one half tablespoon of honey, and I'm gonna mix that in with about half a teaspoon of gochujang, which is our beautiful, sweet, spicy, sour, Korean-style spice mix right here. You almost wanna make this feel like a gravy and have that same consistency. But once you have something nice and thick, just like that, that kind of just coats the back of your spoon. We're basically ready. Well, time to just assemble everything. It's about to be amazing and gorgeous. So I'm gonna take my chicken right here. You can see it's properly cooked and that color is just ridiculous. And just place it in our bowl here. And what's great about this, all that oil from the chicken is just in there and I don't need to actually use it. So it's absolutely perfect if you're trying to eat lean. I'm so excited to eat this, it smells so good. I'm gonna put my whole sauce just right in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my flake salt here. And then to finish, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my spring onions here. Dump all that beautiful chicken. And then we're gonna place all our greens on top of it. Korean style, just fried chicken wings without even having to fry it. It was cooked with air. Who knows, air could be the new oil. So I really do hope you guys go out and buy yourself a Philips air fryer to just try and keep up with the recipes that we're gonna be showing you for the eight weeks. And thank you once again for watching The Fat Kid Inside right here on The Food Spot. Please make sure to subscribe and check out our videos. See you guys. Hey guys, we have a contest going on. Please do submit your own air fryer recipes using a Philips air fryer on my Facebook page. So that's facebook.com slash the fat kid inside. And then after we show all our videos, we'll select one winner and then I will be cooking for you a dinner for two right here at the red light.